Good afternoon, everybody. Dr. Glow here with Black Girl Everything, also coming in partnership with Destination Tomorrow. Um, I'm so excited to actually give this session out today because it is about something that's really important. We're all talking about for entrepreneurs about how to increase revenue. But before I get to start talking about what we're going to talk about within this workshop, let's talk a little bit about Grow with Google and our partnership through Destination Tomorrow with Grow with Google. This is to establish free workshops and opportunities to educate individuals on entrepreneurship, um, job seeking, professionalism, and, and all these different ways that they can increase their access to information. So to get that done, we, I do these weekly sessions on Wednesdays. They're recorded. Sometimes you guys are lucky. You guys have me live in person again today. A lot of them are actually pre-recorded and I play these videos in via here on Zoom, you have access to watch them at one o'clock Wednesdays. And we also have a four o'clock session that's held by one of our interns in the afternoons. She's going to be doing a presentation this afternoon on an online presence as well. That is not streamed live, but they will all be recorded and placed onto the Destination Tomorrow um, YouTube channel. But also you can find all of our previous recorded videos on the Black or Everything channel as well. So I'll get access to this free information, so this free workshop. So every single week, come on out. If you if you have a large group of people who you want us to come and do a free workshop with, I actually come do different workshops in person. I um, mean, I'll be hosting some some sessions here in Mount Vernon, as well as the Bronx, offering these free different workshops for individuals who want to improve on as an entrepreneur, as well as looking for a job. Okay, so before we get into this one today, increasing your sales with Google tools is so important for our small business entrepreneurs, especially if this is being streamed live currently in the Black or Everything uh, page, but we're going to get started and we're going to talk about how we can all start making more money and increasing our revenue. So on the agenda for today is to showcase your business with Google Tools profile, right? I'm going to talk about how to do that. List your products or list your products on Google. Set yourself up for success. And of course, there's going to be a recap at the end. We're going to talk about the different resources that you can use moving forward when it comes to actually getting your business out there. So if people think that there's just some hidden trick that Google picks businesses to be exposed as, you know, number one pick, top search. That's not actually the case. You have to actually register yourself for Google and register your business. So I say to people Google me, I come up. Yeah, I come up because I actually registered myself with Google. So what Google automatically does, anything that's associated with the Dr. Go brand is going to come up on the timeline um, when you search my name, Dr. Gloria Football. Google, my businesses pop up and everything else pops up because I've registered myself as an organization. But let's get started. The first thing we want to think about when we're talking about increasing your sales is who are you overall as an organization? Are you a brick and mortar? Like you have a store that consumers can visit? Are you e-commerce? You have a website where personal consumers can buy online. We, in most cases, and especially now, especially after COVID, we realize a lot of brick and mortar locations have not really thrived during the pandemic. And everybody is definitely moving into this e-commerce. E-commerce is anybody. Anybody can go into the internet and sell anything. You don't need an actual location to actually run a successful business anymore. Before, it's like if you didn't have a location, you couldn't actually get anything done. Uh, Black Hole Everything is in efforts currently of offering a brick and mortar because I want to be able to bring people's products into a space and also use that space to host events. So that's the only reason why I'm actually opening a space. Otherwise, I will continue just on the e-commerce market, but I want to engage with people and have real connections with individuals while we're opening up stores. So let's talk more about what we got going on here. So there is an activity that we're going to go to do. So I'm give everybody who's who's watching, if you're watching this um, as a replay later on, or those who are tuning in right now, the activity is I want you to list three things you want consumers to know about your business. So think about what you want people to know. Like even for myself with uh, Black Girl Everything, I want individuals to know that we are here to connect and network. Right, that I promote and support Black women owned businesses. I'm also a coach, right? Another thing that we host phenomenal events um, a few times a year where people can come out and actually connect and everything else. So, so some of the things I want people to know about my business. Now, say for even for a destination tomorrow, my work that I do there, I want people to know that I'm an educator, an adult educator, that I have a job readiness program, that I do um, coaching within people that actually get me as a coach with all the different um, workshops that we offer through Destination Tomorrow. I also build our curriculum for conferences through Destination Tomorrow, right? That we, off we offer all these 
great things, including our housing initiatives. We work directly with other CBOs in the Bronx and actually in Atlanta, where our other offices on connecting on how we can build out our organization. So there's different things that you want people to know about that. So think about the three things as a consumer that you want consumers to know about your business. And those are the key things that you want to focus on as you start building out your brand. So showcase your, your business with a Google business profile. This is the easiest thing to do. A lot of people don't, don't know you actually have to register your business with a profile. You want people go to Google and Google things all the time. Say they come by and they see you at a pop-up, that's great. They see you at the pop-up, they know that you're there and everything else like that. But they wanna find you later. Oh, I saw this business. I think it was called waste, waste beat, wasted something and they put you in, but they start typing the words in and then all of a sudden you pop up on there and, and they'll also want to do is link directly to your Instagram page. So register yourself on here. I'm gonna show you how you're gonna get that done now. Okay, case study. We are always amazed by the number of visits our, our Google profile gets every month, all right? So this is Woodward throwbacks. They're out of Ham, Hammer to Rock, Michigan. Okay, they do the woodwork. I'm, I'm actually my Google myself, but it looks like what they're doing is kind of cool. They got a cool little team there. Woodwork works, actually really like it. But what they do, what they have done is they actually establish themselves on Google. And what it does, it gives me more people access to you and your brand. Okay. So when you have a business profile, basic things come up. You guys know you see this when you Google something, all this information comes up for a business. The business actually puts it there. And what it does is it allows people to go on to actually give you reviews onto there. So we're going to talk more about the importance of providing reviews. So those of you who are entrepreneurs or those of you who are just looking to do anything, even if you want to start hair braiding um, kids' hair, or if you want to be a social worker that wants to do contracts, if you want to be an entertainer or anything else like that, you can stay here and open up your business directly where people can find your information. So be a business profile. The first thing you're going to add on there is going to be your name, right? It's going to give photos and videos that are linked to your organization, right? There's location, your phone number, and there's highlights, right? About what you offer, in-store pickup, in-store um, in shopping, different things that can be available to that, right? And the major part about that is reviews because of 4.7 how many of you don't go to a business because they had 2.2 reviews or they had no reviews at all reviews are important so we're going to talk about also how you can once you set up this profile how to get people back onto the profile that actually leave your reviews now say in part of an overall organization, right? Your organization like Destination Tomorrow, you can Google Destination Tomorrow, it's going to come up. There's reviews. Um, Colin Allen Child Development Center, where I work here, it, it, there's reviews. It's set up, right? And we send people there. So when you have customers, there's a great way to actually increase your customer base and increasing your sales is by increasing the amount of reviews you have on there. You want people to go back. So if people are if you do an email after somebody makes a purchase, thank you so much for making a purchase on my product. I would love for you to be able to go back and actually leave a review. And you can give them the direct link on how they can leave a review on your product, okay? That's one of the key things to get sales. People look for reviews. People look for that, oh, other people like their products? Oh, great, this is wonderful. And a star rating is enough because if 4.7 starts, oh, this is kind of cool. They feel like they're doing good work. People actually like them. And they have a number of reviews. There's 53 that are posted here. You don't want to go somewhere where they have two reviews and they got a, a score of 100 because it might just be their two friends. You want to see multiple reviews present there. So reviews are a huge part of actually increasing your sales when you have your business profile. Okay. So you want to get found by customers in your city. So searching containing near me in stock have grown in US by 90% while. So now this is a big thing for me. Like say if you're looking, you're looking for a child care center or if you're looking for um, sneakers or if you're looking for um, alkaline water or something like that. You can sit here and say alkaline water near me and then different uh, organizations are going to pop up that actually offer it, right? And then you also see on here a big thing for especially for my minority owned businesses and on these, you also can identify that you're women owned on your business profile, that you're black owned on your, on your business profile, put those specific things in there because people want to buy Black. They want to keep their money within their communities, especially if you're in a predominantly Black community. People want to find you specifically to spend your money with. People are doing that. So if you are, if you craft earrings, right, and you make handmade earrings, that's what you do, your business should, you should say, people might search there, oh, homemade, um, handcrafted or yarn-based earrings near me, right? And you put that in and your business is going to pop up. So it's important that you have this, this information available for people to find you. And that's how you're going to increase your sales. People got to find you. 
right? And that's the key thing. And Google is one of the key ways for people to find you. It's going to happen every single time because Google also taps into other search engines and shares across information. So they, you're going to be able to be found either way. Okay. So create your business profile. Google business profile provide profile allows you to manage your business info, contact with your customers, post updates, and more. Like the hours that you're open, right? If you're a small business, if you don't even, even if you don't have an in-store location, put down hours that you're open. Your hours of, of operation might be from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., right? Because if you're going to have a contact phone number on there where people know they can call you or they can visit your website or the other ways to reach you. So put your information on there. Look as professional and as key cut as you need to be. And also make sure the image you put up there is actually, it, it looks good for what you're doing as your business, right? You're not going to take a car selfie and put that up on your business profile. Speak to somebody with a decent Android or a decent iPhone to get a good picture of you dressed well, face of maybe a little bit beat, like get it together before you put that image up there or just use your logo. But people also love connecting with people. So it really should be an image of you in your business, representing yourself in your business. As per the example we have here, we have Detroit Voltage and we have this, this black woman with her clipboard and her little hard hat on. Oh, that's a nice picture. Oh, and it also is Black woman owned and everything else like that. So she's an electrician. So make sure you're representing who you are as an organization with imagery that you put on your business profile. So to set up a business profile, it is super, super easy. Step number one, you're going to go to google.com slash business. Google.com slash business, right? You're going to claim or complete your business profile, request um, a postcard. It should arrive within five days. When you receive, sign it, and enter the verification code to complete. In the meantime, explore your business profile and update your inf information. So when you're doing this, excuse me, when you're physically doing this, you're going to be able to see that you can actually link your information from your business profile and update it. So they're going to send you this request card. And the card is important. Make sure you put the code on there because that's going to sit there and say that you're a real business, okay? So they're going to send it out to your actual registered address for your business. So don't make it up. Make it somewhere you actually receive them. Okay? So you're going to keep your profile current. Make edits directly a search, search results page, you must sign, be signed into your account that manages your business profile. So when you, on Google, everything goes under your account. So this is very important. Don't use your personal email when you're actually signing into your account. So your business on Google. So everybody should have a Google uh, business profile and that's how you actually put your business information on there. You might have an email address that's associated with your website that you use, that's fine but set up a profile that you want to associate with your business through Google. And you want to do your personal, that's fine, but more so you should have an actual business profile. And on there, you're going to be able on your business profile to edit your profile, read your reviews, send messages, add photos, um, performance and advertise, edit your products on there, do calls from there. This can be Q&A. You're going to add apps for reviews. There's different things that you can do via your actual, this profile. So search for your business at google.com. Go into your business profile itself. It's registered with your account and you should be able to access this different information. You want to make sure that it's current. You should really look at less your profile like every three months. It should be aggravating the data from there. Are you increasing your reviews? Are you increasing, increasing the photos? You had a great event that you hosted. And put those photos up on there so people can see access. Like if people go on there and it says that say something like black or everything, which is something honestly at this point I need to correct. I don't necessarily upload enough videos to my um, videos or pictures up to my account and I host events. People want to see that. Like with even with Destination Tomorrow, we have education. I should take pictures with the, the clients and stuff and putting them on there so people see that we're real, real and we're accessible and we're actually doing the work. People love proof of what you're doing. So putting, adding photos will also increase your sales because people want to see that it's real. People want to see something tangible. They want to see if you do um, uh, oil-based business, then people have rollers, get somebody like rolling it across their chest and you see the shine of the oil, like a real nice image and, and put that onto your page. Like those are the types of things that you want to have that's going to make people be more engaged with actually purchasing that. Oh, that looks kind of cool. So how can I actually get that done and how can I I get access to that and um, for me to be able to be able to have access to people seeing my products, okay? 
So to click edit your profile to manage it overall, you're going to edit your business name, the category, the description, location, hours, and more. It's very self-explanatory. It's not something really complicated when you go in there, when you're trying to add your business profile. And even if you're confused, go to Google and say, make a business profile, and they're going to give you a direct link to, that you get able to hit. It's going to take you right to this page where you can actually submit your information for your business profile. Okay. So attributes what and what they look like. So these different attributes on here, they actually added some new ones here. So you can add on there that you're Asian-owned, Latino-owned, veteran-owned, Black-owned, LGBTQ-owned, women-owned. So me on this other side, I can add, I can have all three of those and put those things on there because people love identifying and looking for things that are relatable to them. Like one of my things is most of my products that I use in my household and things like that, I've tried to keep them Black women-owned as often as possible, if not only Black women-owned, but definitely Black-owned. So it's like, because I try to keep my money, my money Black. So I like organizations that, uh, that, um, identify like that. Even with LGBTQ, um, our, our clients on there, people want to actually support these types of businesses. So put them on there on, on, under your business profile because people can find you if you're Latin, Latino owned. If you're Latino, Black owned, LGBTQ and woman owned, you got it all. And then you're a vet and then your cousins are Asian. They put it all in there if they're a partner with your business. Like click them all. Don't think that keeping it small is the way they're basically going to click every single attribute that you can because it's going to help people find you. And we'll also remember everything is an algorithm. Everything is an algorithm. So if people are shopping and looking for certain things, these search engines want people to find what they're looking for. Again, these search engines want people to find what their people are looking for because it makes people come back and use their search engines, which is why they get paid. That's why their advertisements and everything else work because the more clicks that they get, the more access it is. So make sure you're clearly putting yourself on there because remember our phones, you ever sit there and have a conversation with somebody in the car about something like say, oh, I've been looking for really good wooden spoons and I can't happen to find them. It was on a hot date at a restaurant talking about wooden spoons, right? And then you know, all of a sudden on your Facebook and your Instagram and everything else, all of a sudden you can always ask for wooden spoons because that's how the world works, right? The, these phones, everything's hearing, everybody's hearing everything, everybody's seeing everything. So people, they want people to find what they want. So if you want to be seen and you want to increase your sales, you have to put out there what people want. So you got to put clear information inside your profile. Even within your description, don't just put out there, oh, I sell products. No, you need to be clear. Oh, I sell multi-scent natural vegan based oils or anything like that, right? So for me, it would be something, oh, I provide access to events that, that provide culture, um, art, and something else, right? So you want to put a lot of information in there so those key words help people locate you. Okay, so attributes and how to set them up. So basically, you're going to click edit your profile, you're going to click more, um, and, and for your business, select the attributes that describe your business, and then you're going to correct yes, are you identifying as your own, yes, black owned, Latino owned, LGBTQ owned, and you just click yes on those different things, okay, very simple. All right, shopping habits are built around convenience and spontaneity, so people love to see you when you're open. All right. So again, like I said, even if you're just an e-commerce store, put an open time on there. I want to say, I think my thing is that I'm open seven to seven. Let's actually look because I'm not even sure. So let's see. Because I come up and if I put it in here in my search engine, clock, girl, everything. LLC. Okay. Oh, all my information is coming up. My Twitter. Wow. Oh, my retreat on Eventbrite came up, right? So, so if I could click shopping, I could find my information on here. All right, yep, everything comes up on here. So it's important that you put your information on there so people can find your locations in the, in the different stores and that you're saying that you're open. Be open. If you're an e-commerce store, don't close at three o'clock. Keep yourself open. Get people to call you. Get people access to you, to you as a business owner. People want to talk to people. What they have a, a question like, hey, I see 
that you do these different types of oils. So tell me, can you tell me some of the products on there? Cause I have an allergy or whatever, especially when you don't have a brick and mortar store it's because people can't, a brick and mortar, usually there's a, they can go to your website. They can find more additional information, but give people access to you. So give people a time that they can reach you, right? Don't be incognito. Like, oh, my store is always closed. Open it, your e-commerce store. You should open just like a brick and mortar. You should have an opening time and a closing time. Let people know. So if you have days of operation, if you don't want to get business calls on Mondays and Tuesdays, put yourself closed on Mondays and Tuesdays. There's nothing wrong with that. But be clear about what your schedule is going to be as an organization so people can find you. Okay. So here's how to set up your hours. Again, you're going to edit your profile. You're going to click hours. You're going to add your hours on there, whatever they may be. As you see, it doesn't matter what you want to put on there. Okay. It's really up to you. But make sure that you're up there. All right. Whatever makes your business unique, show, show and case it when people are asking to make your business purchase decisions, all right? So that's what I'm talking about, these different images, right? Like new showroom hours, and we have free shipping, anything of anything, put updates up there. 70% of the shoppers is serving the market, good deals, discounts, and promotions. So put up what you got new. Oh, an update to my profile, right? Your profile, and the thing about this cool thing about well, Google, this profile is like a whole nother world outside of your website. He was like, well, all that's on my website. Why can't it be here too? Put this information available so people know where and how to reach you, how to find you, and what you're actually offering because we want to entice customers to come. For those of you from the, the nonprofit world, this is also incredibly important for you as an organization because you need to put updates onto your Google profile so because people are going to look in there and they're going to say, oh, wow, this is what they're doing now. Oh, they're launching this new meeting. Oh, they're doing that. You can put all that information on there, even the free services that you're providing to individuals. Put them on Google because people are going to say, if you sit here and you have a 15 year old, a 15 year old, the trans experience who's looking for a, a workshop or a, a, a group or anything like that, they're going to put in um, trans groups for 15, for 15 year olds, LGBTQ New York, right? But say somebody like Destination Tomorrow who does their women's group every other week on Wednesdays, if there was an update about that on here, everybody across this world who, or who the state of New York who are looking for these type of resources, that's going to pop up, right? So it's really about us utilizing these spaces to to represent our businesses because people people are living in the world of the internet. Like I don't go anywhere ultimately without Googling. Somebody tells me about something, like I got invited to an event on Friday, but one never had heard of this place. I Googled it, right? Oh, I, like I spoke about this last week, the insurance agent who I was working with didn't know much about me or anything like that. They told me, finally, yo, I Googled you. And I was like, oh, they're going to handle this because I Googled them. People want to know that people are trusting and reliable. So you got to make sure the information is available for people to see that, okay, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. But you got to register yourself on Google because people find it. People Google more than anywhere else. So you should live there. All right. So uh, posts, how to set them up. Add an update, right? You're going to select an update, add an update, add an offer, add an event. So you can add all these different stuff onto Google, right? And as I watch this, but I love doing these workshops because I learn something new every time I do it myself. Okay. As customers search for ideas, visual shopping experiences, lifestyle photography, videos, and customer reviews can make lasting impressions, right? So 64% of the U.S. holiday shoppers um, who use Google said that they discovered inspiration. So it comes from, oh, like to see this, this thing right here, great spot. I love the pieces and the salvage attention to just, um, the detail and everything else like that. That's where your reviews come back and hit for other individuals who want to actually use your products or want to buy from you or want to be part of something from you. So yeah, so it comes from your reviews. You have to have good reviews on there. You ever go on to, to book a vacation and he's like, oh, let me read the reviews. And then you find those, those, those three bad reviews and you're kind of juggling. Oh, so when did they leave that review? Was that 2015? That was like 2015. Okay, and they said they, they updated a hotel since then. All right, so maybe it's fine. We find some more current reviews. Or if somebody says something about a resort, and they said there's and three or four people complained about it in the last 60 days. Are you really going to go there? No, you're not going anywhere. But the thing also about Google is if people leave a, a, a poor response for you, you actually can respond to it directly. And that response might actually be what shifts people to want to be your product. So say you give a response about somebody gives a response about the product. Right. And then you're sitting there saying, OK, um, 
But okay, thank you so much for purchasing our product. Please, I, I understand you, this didn't work for you, but maybe we can try this product for you here. Please email here and we'll send you a free sample. We would like, we appreciate you as a customer and we wanna rectify the situation. Somebody writes that some, under somebody's bad review, you're more likely to sit there to want to engage with that, that that organization. Like, oh, they really care. They're going to send them a free sample. They're going to reach out to them. For a social service or organization, people say, oh, there's a bad review. We're going to ignore the review. No, you don't. You actually respond. And you say, say thank you so much for your feedback. I think it's really important that we get this out of feedback so we can grow as an agency. If you want to discuss this further with us and give us some, and give us maybe give us some insight on how we can improve others' experiences, please let us know. Here's an email where you can reach out to us directly and let's set up a conversation. Somebody like me, if I see that, because everybody's experience in this world is different, but for somebody to sit there and sit there and say, okay, you know what? I listen, I'm hearing your feedback. I'm seeing what you're saying. How can we do this better? Are you able to meet with us or talk with us so we can have a conversation so we can improve our services or make sure we don't have these type of experiences again? Everything is about customer service, right? So people say, oh, you got a bad review. Don't say nothing. Now you better respond to your bad reviews and you better fix it because that bad review is what's going to implement, is what's going to hurt your sales. Every customer is not going to like you. Every customer is not going to like you, but you have to respect them as a customer if you want to continue to have customers. And acknowledging their review, especially if they want to downgrade you on it in the public, then you need to sit there and you need to come back and um, deal with it in public. Don't sit there and find your email or send out something in private and have private conversations. Not nah, do it. Do it real. If you're going to do it, do it right. And that means that you need to make sure people are seeing that you're actually working with people who complain about your organization as well. Because 64% of US holiday shoppers, they're always discovered by inspiration. If the inspiration be your reviews, it's your imagery, it's all that other stuff that's available on your profile. People want to connect to something real, right? And word of mouth is the best thing. So you wouldn't bet you better check your reviews and you better get some up. Okay. So how to connect with customers? You read reviews and you can respond to your customers, right? Read reviews, you can send them messages. Um, you can answer any questions they may physically have in the QA section, also here available on um with your business profile. So again, you see all these different ways, and these are such a cool way to actually engage with customers. <laughs> For those of you who don't have a brick and mortar, this is one of the only ways you can actually gauge, engage with potential customers. Between your email list, between your text list, between your website, Google is one of the other best places that you can actually communicate, go back and forth with customers because people are always searching and looking for really cool things. Like people can put in Google, like even for me, Black-owned pop-ups near me, like I'm going to pop up, right? But I should pop up. And if I'm not popping up, so I'm probably going to Google it for one of my different properties to make sure I am popping up. If not, that means that not enough information is within my actual profile. So when people are searching for those things, that's what I'm coming up as an organization where they can find those things. So yeah, ask your friends to Google you. Ask your people to Google your organization. See what comes up on there and see, and then go through that data and then really come up with, okay, this is how I'm going to increase my performance and um, maybe get more access to advertising because the more people who click on your website and stuff from there, those clicks matter. Because if people are clicking on your website directly through Google, it's going to, what's going to put you as a top thing on there, right? And then when it comes down to trademarking and all those other things, it becomes a lot easier because the USPSO can actually Google you and see that, oh, they're popular, they exist, and this is real. People who want to contract you for real contract, oh, this is real, this is their imagery, this is what makes work. People who want to donate more money to you, they're going to Google you. Oh, they do this, they say they do that, they do that. And these other people are also giving them money because they put up articles, there's blogs, there's all this information that's coming up through their profile. So be active in this space because that's how it's going to create skit sales because you've got to sell to people. Sales people sell. Remember back in the day, you people who sell count, um, um, excuse me, vacuums, he was to go around, the guys would come around the hat and the real nice coat and the briefcase, he went and actually related to customers. And that's how they got sales. That's how sales used to work back in the 1920s, 1930s, 1940s, 1950s, 1960s, right? Then we started now 1970s, like 1990s, 2000s, 2010, 2020, we had the internet. You can reach millions of people if your profile actually shows why people want to reach you. Okay, so pro, pit, pro tip, see, responding to reviews, be professional and polite. 
Duh, right? Respond promptly. Don't use responses to advertise. Thank happy customers. Address issues correctly and resolve privately if possible. Yes, you want to resolve it privately, but you want to acknowledge them publicly. Resolve privately, right? But acknowledge publicly by sitting there saying, thank you so much. Here's my, here's our direct email. Please reach out so we can have a conversation about this. Not necessarily go into the spiel about what you're going to do or even go back and forth. And the customer is, doesn't want to, they want to keep on responding negatively on there. Then you walk away from the space because you're not going to instigate that. But what you're going to say and say, well, I tried to work with them and they wanted to be, they wanted to go off the hanger. Another customer is going to look at them and they just want to go off the hanger. Nobody's really paying attention to them. Maybe be some of these other reviews, see what other people have to say. So it's important that we sit there and we actually address the issues. Okay, ask how to ask for reviews. Okay, so you can share through via your email, you can share through social media, you can send an actual link. So give customers a link to review your, your business on Google. And here you can copy the link. You just blast it out. You can put it on your Facebook. Please, everybody, I'm trying to get up my reviews on my Google profile. Um, you've had a great experience with... Um, with Black or Everything or Destination Tomorrow or Daisy Dream Project or Colorado Child Development Center, everything that I'm affiliated with, can you please drop uh, a review here, please, and thank you, right? If you host an event, everybody who registered for the event, at the event, thank you so much for attending. We really enjoyed you being in our presence. Please take a moment to leave a review on our Google profile by clicking this link, a call to action. And that review, those reviews is what's going to help actually grow your organization and grow your sales because people want to see that other people like it. Nobody wants to buy something nobody else likes. Nobody wants to be the lone wolf. Okay, I'm going to try this product. They ain't got no reviews and their profile just says uh, peanut butter cake icing something, right? I'm not trying that mess. Nobody's tried it before. I don't even know what's going on, right? So you got to sit here. You got to make sure that you actually get reviews for your business and your organization. And again, this also transitions over to, it doesn't matter. Even if you're running a nonprofit, you need to get reviews on your Google thing. And it, you need to make have as many reviews as so you have to ask for them. You got to remind people, please review, please review, please review. And if you review, we see that you do review, maybe we'll give you 5% of your next purchase, right? Then you'll get it. We notice that you did give us a review, we'll give you 5% of your next, of our next product, right? Give them a feedback, 5%. So if your product, so say you had a product, you give buy my 5% and your products are $100, right? You're still going to make $95, but you got the review, which is going to possibly get you another customer who's going to make you $100 or five more customers going to make you $500. So it's really important that you're making sure that you're putting that up there so people can actually review your products and review you as an organization. Okay, so how products can appear. This is the fancy part. Retailers can add products to their business profile. Customers see products by clicking on a product catalog and product posts in the carousel. So when you know when you Google something, you see all the products that come across the top of it, right? The top of Google, right? And all these different places you can buy them from. They only show up because people put them there. There's no, there's no little Google person in the background who's going and who's looking up products and then placing them on their search engine. Nobody does that at Google. That's not what happens. What actually happens is people put them up themselves. And that's how you get into the um, into the entourage of self. Okay. So products and how to set them up. So you're going to go click click products, you're going to add info like name, category, photo, price, description, and then button that links to the web page. Okay. So you put the website or where you, not just your overall website, you're not going to your homepage. So say like for me, I sell um, black or everything sweatshirts, right? So if I'm going to have a, the black or everything sweatshirts on my merch, I'm going to put the product up there. I'm going to put up the imagery and put the picture of the imagery, right? I'm going to put the price of what it costs up there, the great description. And then the button I'm going to put is not going to be to the direct homepage of the website, but it's going to be to the direct ordering page for that sweatshirt. Right. So my, my merchandise page might have 15, 20 different products on there. I'm not going to just bring them so they get lost. People want don't want to do a lot of work. They want to be able to click a link and get where they go. So you can go to my homepage and they're like, oh, but where I got to find a product? I'm done. I quit. They, they quit. Right. People want things simple and easy. So make sure you're, the button that you're that you're putting on there goes directly to how to purchase the product, the product. So they don't have to think anymore. Oh, this is nice. I want this this hoodie for this fifty five dollars. Great. And you click the link. 
oh, great. So now I'm here and I could purchase the product. So that's how that works. So it's really important that you want to make sure that you are um, having direct links to make it's easier for your customers. Do not make your customers work hard. They don't want to work hard. They want to see something they like, they want to buy it. Okay. All right. So pro tip for brick and mortar stores, Pointy. Pointy is a free Google tool that gives real um, retailers an easy way to add in-store products to Google. So you go to pointy.withgoogle.com. So you can track local, local customers to brick and mortar store by showcasing your products on Google. So you can do that is where the store is located. It's Pointy. People, somebody's looking at jeans right here. It says kids bike helmet near me. And this pops up, right? Um, custom hoodies near me. Um, um, uh, vegan oils near me, vegan products near me, uh, custom made sneakers near me, right? Put that stuff up and it's going to pop up. Even if, even if you are an e-commerce store, I still strongly suggest you might actually use this, right? Because it's an easy way for people to find you as well. But pointy is what pointy actually does is what it does is give you a little, when people see those, um, the location things that pop up, you can, you can put that there. It'll, it pops up on the screen so people can actually map the reads for it too. Okay, so you see, it's important so people are going to find it if you have a brick and mortar. Okay, so how Pointy works, so you're going to connect Pointy to your POS, scan products, and then appear on your Google business profile. They can also surface on Google search, maps, shopping, and people nearby you. So if you have a store location, this is when it scan the products, when it display the products on Google, and it helps shoppers physically find you when they're looking for physical stuff. Okay, that's if you have an actual location. All right. And most entrepreneurs that I service tend not to have locations. So this is this is what we can, this is not necessarily the best option for you currently, but if you get yourself on store on shelves and stuff of that nature, you can um, speak to them about your product, making sure part of your contract is to make sure that your product is actually showing up on their Google profile. Okay. So consider using Pointy if you have a physical store that customers can visit. Most of the products carry a, U, a UPC or any of the barcodes and scan at the register. Okay, and also what is the quick way for people to actually buy certain certain things? Okay, sorry, let's get through a few pages. Okay, there's not too many. So if you look at the bottom, it's here. Um, just check out the Pointy class on Skillshop at g.co. slash forward slash Pointy slash Skillshop. It will show you how to actually operate Pointy. Okay, so next step. One, visit your um, google.com slash business and complete your business profile. Update your business profile to attract shoppers, including hours, products, and posts. And are you a brick and mortar business? Consider using Pointy to show products of your in your business profile. Um, that actually show up in your business profile. Okay. List your products on Google. And that is for people who are a Google Merchant Center. Reach hundreds of millions of people through doing shopping related searches on Google each day. Now you can reach each your products, even if you actually have a service, you can do this. It's good if you have a service. So say you're a doula or say you're a, um, a consultant or something of this nature. You can actually put this on here. So reach my keys to um, do Google is free to actually put your products up here. All right. So sign up for free. So here, let's go through how. Products can appear in your Google search results. All right. So product info may be eligible to show relevant U.S. based searches. So depending on what it is, it's going to come up. You ever Google this particular product and then you see how it has the company and it has the products you want to you want to put up the specific products you have and that you sell and that you all order that you offer. OK, now this is how to increase your opportunity for people to buy you. So say you do custom Easter baskets, for instance, right? You do custom Easter baskets. All you can clearly do is you can put this up there, custom-made Easter baskets, right? And put the different things in order. Orders maybe have to be in by a certain stuff like that. Gift sets need to be in by a certain thing like that. And put these products up there, right? And then when people go to make the products on your website, when they click to buy them, even if it's something custom made, they can sit there and say, okay, thank you. This is the example of what we have. We could customize this specifically for you. So click off the particular boxes or click this here we, on our, our sales associate will contact you for a consultation to create your product. We'll get back to you within, um, you know, 12 hours or whatever, right? And then you can meet that customer, sell their product and ship out what you need. So there's different ways that you can increase your sales, but you got to be specific and take the time to put your products up there. Right, you got to take the time to get make so you are part of these Google searches that people are looking for, right? That people want to buy. You ever look for everything? I Google everything. I Google everything that I want. Just Google, and you're gonna be able to find it. 
right? Things I need for the school, I Google so I can find it. And so you want to make sure each and everything that you have is there. So it takes a lot of work in the forefront, but think about the possibility of all the people who are going to get access to your products. So if you, if you take the time to put this up, people can actually find you. Okay. All right, what it looks like in the shopping tab. Okay, so when people sell, you can sell in-store products online by listing them in the free shopping tab. To access that, you can click shopping, right? If you go on shopping, you can define anything you want there, all right? You see all this different stuff that come up. You want to be somebody's stuff. You got stuff that you make and that you do. You want it to pop off on here. You want people to find you. You know about barn doors? Sorry, I got distracted. I actually love barn doors. I didn't realize they did custom barn doors and they actually deliver about $550. It's not a bad, bad price. But you see me, I'm doing a presentation and I'm, and I'm sitting here paying attention with the products that this water throwbacks is actually selling, right? Because they're actually black owned. So I might actually have to buy from them. But this is, the, this is my point. This is how sales actually happen, right? This is how you get intrigued by what's going on and how people work. This is actually really, really cool. I'm not going to actually Google them later. Let me write this down. Sorry. See how, see, this is how it works. Woodard Rollbacks. I'm going to have to explore their site because they got some really, really cool stuff. So let's move on. All right. So what it looks like on Google Images, when people look for products and brands on Google Images, they see images and they label labeled products. See that little label thing? That means that's a product. That means that's something that somebody actually can purchase. So you want your products to come up that you want to stimulate people to looking at you. You want people to be interested in wanting to buy your stuff. So you got to put the stuff up there that you have. And then once it sells out, when you go to the website, you can say, oh, sold out, but try these products, right? Okay. So how Merchant Center works. Merchant Center. So you're gonna create an account. You're gonna upload products. You're gonna show products across Google, okay? And the website for that is g.co slash merchant center setup, okay? g.co slash merchant center setup. If you ever need any of these slides or any information for these presentations, you always can email me at drpope at destinationtomorrow.org. Again, it's drpope at destinationtomorrow.org. Or feel free to go to the Black Girl Everything website, www.blackgirleverythingllc.com. You can actually schedule free time with me there if you want to go through some of these workshops individually. Or if you want to rewatch this video, you can watch it on YouTube. It'll be on the YouTube Black Girl Everything LLC page where you can slow down and freeze up if you need information from any of these particular slides. They will be available on my web, on the, um, on the webpage, or basically via YouTube, okay? So help customers buy without or without a website. Choose your customers to check out on your website, in your local store, buy on Google. People clearly can buy your stuff straight from Google. They don't even need to go to your website and buy again, because you can actually become a merchant via Google. Are we hearing this? You don't have to wait. So say you're a consultant and you're sitting there and you want to offer of life coaching sessions and you and everything else like that. So people are going life coaches near me and you pop up. You can put that on here as a physical product that people can purchase the session directly here through Google. They don't have to go through your websites and everything else. We're always talking about multiple streams of revenue, multiple ways to actually get customers, right? Put it on here. You get access to millions of people, especially if you're offering remote sessions and stuff like that. People can find it. People can find you. People can find your products and they can buy it directly through Google because you automatically become a merchant of Google. Get your products out there. Merchant means like store people so people can actually purchase your products. Okay, so add products directly to your merchant center. Add products individually or with a product feed. Okay, so you can add them up individually at the Google Merchant Center, which is actually really, really cool. Okay, and you can put yourself up there and then it'll be delivered by a particular date. And people go directly right there because, again, people want things simple and easy. It's a lot easier. They can go and find your product and they can hit the link and come to it, go through your website, right? If you put the product up on there, but there's multiple, as you're noticing, there's multiple ways to put your products up to increase your sales because now you can just sell them directly through Google. Okay. So Google Merchant Guide, Guidance, if is Merchant Center a fit for your business? Products are available for direct purchase, okay? You have a secure checkout process and you have a return policy. So those things have to be in place, 
in order for you to actually be on Google. So it's not all sales are final. It's not any, you can't put products up there for all sales are final. That's not an option for this. You have to be able, people have to be able to return the products. You have to have access to the information. You have to have, um, uh, there's gotta be some logistics in there. So make sure you go through what the logistics are to make sure that you're eligible to actually as a merchant. Okay. So let's set ourselves up for some success here. Let's make some money. So get ready for your shoppers. Okay, that's a key thing. Get ready for your shoppers. Make yourself accessible to your shoppers. You want to sell your products, sell your imagery, sell your business, and people want to see you, right? So you want to make sure that you're, you're updating your information, you're maintaining your currency. You ever look at, like for me, so when people, they try to book my invest, right? One of the things, I say this over and over again, I say this out loud for other small businesses who may watch this later, like your Instagram and other stuff like that. People look to see the last time you posted right? Like, I'm not going to have somebody come to one of my pop-ups who ain't posted in six months because you're not, you're not good to me. And I, I may like your products, but you're no good to my, my business or the marketing aspect of my business because you don't post. People are like, oh, who's this person? They don't even share information. Nobody even knows what's going on with them. You have to have a following. You have to have content. You have to put things, right? People got to know that you're relevant, right? For people to get sales because then people are going to see you. If you're not posting, you're not coming up because you're not going to come up in freaking Instagram searches like that. If you're not even really putting up information, people are not noticing, right? Because all those things matter if you really want to increase your sales. So you make sure you're relevant and you're maintaining your relevance by updating your Google profile constantly. All right. Make payment process simple, right? Enable digital wallet, wallets online and for your brick and mortar store or anywhere. Use things like, um, um, Afterpay and Quadpay and PayPal, Google, MetaPay. You better have every way possible for people to give you money. Because people might sit here and say, oh, their cousin who owed them $75 is sitting in their cash app, right? It's sitting in their cash app, but they don't have $75 in the bank. They're going to buy your product because they can use cash app. You see the logistics of how people think? So they might sit and say, oh, I'm gonna buy more. Oh, I can buy, I can pay this way. I can sell you, I can do this. Oh, so I'm gonna buy more products, right? So make sure people have multiple ways to buy your products. This is not the world of cash anymore. Digital wallets are everything. Digital wallets are everything. And you get people access to be able to buy from you through digital wallets, okay? So think mobile first. Be sure your website looks good and performs well on people's mobile devices. Have you ever looked at your website on a mobile device? Please do and double check because how your website aligns on the computer is not how it translates automatically onto a mobile site, especially if you're not using certain things like Google Sites, .com, theirs automatically translates well because you have to, when you work on your website, you need to look at the mobile view. Look at the mobile view to make sure that when people are looking at your website, all your stuff aligns properly because you have to do it twice. You can't just set up, oh, my website was going to show up fine. No, it won't. Your buttons for click here and all that stuff won't come up right on a cell phone. So make sure that you're, you're looking at your mobile view so that it aligns properly. Okay. All right. So recap and resources. So this has been dope. Very, very excited. So update your business profile with info and posts. Please. Update it. Talk to people. Let people know what you got going on. Let people know what's, what's your what products you have, what events you have coming up. Put it on your business profile. Read and respond to your customer reviews. Like you want customers, you got to talk to your customers. Like you got to connect with your customers. You got to share with your customers. And reviews matter, right? Try Pointy to add local in-store inventory to your business profile. If you have a brick and mortar store, right? Think mobile first. Look at your mobile site because people are looking at websites from their phone. People are not saying, oh, I want to look at this website. Let me take my phone. Let me go to the computer. Let me plug it in. Nah, they're going to look at your website through their phone because their phone is with them all the time. People are scrolling on the internet looking at different websites, right? But if your website is not friendly for mobile phones, people are not going to play with it because it doesn't look good. It's not presenting well. So make sure your website on your mobile phone actually aligns properly. All right. Update your online message across all channels. Make sure that everybody's getting the same information. What you're posting on your Instagram, you post on your business profile, was posted on your website. Everything needs to be the same. You can't, you cannot put yourself in a position where you're not sharing information through your Google profile. Google, billions of people use Google across the world. People are using it across the world. This is not just New York-based, California-based, Atlanta-based. You know, this is not just Kentucky-based. It's across the world. And if you want to expand your profits, you can't just keep selling to your cousin. 
Your cousin is not going to help you. The, first, the same five people are not going to help you expand your products, right? You want new customers, you got to get more exposure. So you have to be reaching. So use Google. Millions of people are there. And all these, all this act access and all this opportunity is actually free for you to actually be able to use it. So you want to make sure that you're gaining it by putting your information up here so people can find it. Again, make the checkout process easy for customers. Please. I'm not buying anything that's complicated. I don't care. I will quit in a minute. I'll just take it too long. I don't, I don't have the time. I don't want to bother. Right? Life moves too fast. My life moves too fast. I like things to be sleek, streamlined and easy. I like when I'm able to say buy now and all of a sudden all my stuff works on my phone and click and I'm done. Right? So you want to make it easy and streamlined for your customers. You don't want them to have to jump through hoops to find your products and to be able to buy your products. Make everything directly to the link where they can press what it how many, the quantity they want and buy now they can select like, buy now and they can move forward with their part with their purchase do not wait for don't make it complicated for your people right use google merchant center to display products across google that is a store people you talking about you want to get in stores you need to be on google google merchant center it is free you get yourself on there there's probably some, some probably a nominal fee for it using whatever, whatever. I'm not even sure. Don't quote me on that because I got to search it out myself. But the point is, it's a store to get your products in there. And because remember, people, these search engines, they want to give make the shopping experience and the world life experience easy for everybody. So Google is out here making it easy by having a Google Merchant Center. So now people can go through Google to shop. Like that makes sense, right? People, well, you want to make sure everything's streamlined. People want to find things easy. So they're going to come to the Girl Google Merchant Center to actually find products. Okay. So get on there today. So what's your action, action plan, my friends? What are you going to do to grow your sales? How are you increasing your revenue? We as entrepreneurs, we as business owners, we as nonprofits, because remember, the more money your nonprofit brings in, the more money they can pay. Let's get real right? Nonprofits based off rate grants and everything else like that. But if they're reaching their numbers by reaching the people they need to reach, then they actually, the income comes in because we can write more grants, we get more access, we can service more people, right? We can do more things. So even as a not as entrepreneur, this, your actual plan is even more, it matters because how are you making this money? How are you getting access? How are you selling to people? Okay. So we're looking at it. Oh, sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm skipping around. I'm not done with my spiel. Hold on a second here. So write down one thing you want to do as to, to reach shoppers online. Share your answer in the chat box. You ain't got to share it with me. Yes, get on Google. Get on Google Merchant, right? Update your business profile. Put products up there, all your products. I don't care if you have, you selling oils and you have one this size and this one this size. You better put them both up there. They both better be up there with their own link directly with how to buy that particular product because people want things simple, right? They want simplicity. Simplicity matters for individuals. Simplicity matters for organizations. So make sure that you have access for people in order for them to be able to find your products. Okay. All right. So keep learning with, with keep learning with this with Grow with Google. Keep learning here with us at Destination Tomorrow on Black Girl Everything. You can find us clearly every Wednesday. I'm here with a video from one to about 2:30 ish. I'm here with a free video on how to increase on increasing your sales or, or everything else. I have no clue what my video is about next week. I don't know. Find out. I'll be on our Instagram through Destination Tomorrow, as well as on the Black or Everything page and my Dr. Glow page and my Daisy Dream page and all my Facebook pages all over social media. I'm just constantly sharing information about this or just tune in. Um, or you can look at the Grow Google community to find other workshops. We also have a workshop this afternoon, again, at four o'clock. There's one at one and now at four, where you can find access to our workshops um, and free trainings, okay? So with Google, Grow Google themselves, go subscribe. They drop a new video every single Thursday with, with skills on career and business activities. Check them out. There's all these resources are free. Okay. Again, Google career certificates. You can get a certificate that can stand out to employers. These workshops, these certificates are free with data analytics, digital marketing, e-commerce, um, IT support, program management, and UX design. Please tune into these, get on, find on-demand jobs, learn all these different, get these different certifications, add them to your resume. This stuff is free. You don't have to pay for this and it is stand out to other employers and you learn at your own pace. So get into it. Figure out what's going on. 
get this free, these free workshops, add them to your resume, share them with your cousins, share them with your young folks that are around you, get them certified because academia and college is not for everybody, but a self-paced online situation may actually work for a youth with, that can understand data analytics and can sit there and apply for a new job and, and be more profitable than somebody who has a degree. So please use these free workshops, get these free certifications. Okay, so for additional free online training and tools at Google, uh, go to google.com slash for slash grow. For teachers and students, you can bring digital tools into the classroom. For local businesses, help new customers find, um, find you online. Job seekers, boost your resume with new certification. For developers, learn to code and take your skills to the next level. So there's a whole bunch of different ways that you can actually improve on your skill sets based off of here with Global Google. So tune in for these free workshops. They are available to everybody. Okay, so thank you so much for, for joining me today for this workshop. You can share your feedback by clicking the QR code that's, a, that's present on your screen. Give feedback with the Global Google back, uh, Grow with Google um, experience. Please shout out Dr. Glow for Destination tomorrow on Black Girl Everything because I'm here preventing presenting these things. I hope you all enjoy this workshop today. Catch me again next week. If you're looking for this, if you're finding it on um, anywhere else, it's going to be living on the Black Girl Everything Facebook page as well as the Black Girl Everything um, YouTube channel. You can find that you better find the playback of this video and other videos. I want to thank you all for tuning in. I'll see you all next week for our next video, which is about, I'm not sure yet, but <laughs> please, um, you can find it definitely on my social media. If you're not following me on Instagram or Destination Tomorrow, you can follow the Destination Tomorrow 452 on Instagram. Or you can find, follow us also at follow me at Black Girl Everything LLC. Thank you all for tuning in and increase your sales. Let's get out here. Let's, everybody, let's make this money because the money is out here to be made. Until next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.